Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is 3D Mesh Tutorials. I'm in Copper Cube and I'm gonna show you how you can pick up items and drop them. Okay, and you can place them where you want to. You're gonna get like a notification uh, icons or you know to the sprites I can put there on the terrain to show you where you must drop this uh, cube. Okay, so I just have a basic camera and a cube and a platform as you can see there. This is the cube I want to pick up. Okay, I want to carry the cube like in front of the character. This is a, a first person character. Okay, I'm gonna do a third person a version of this tutorial. But for now, just a, a, a first person character. Okay, let's see how it looks. There's your basic first person character with your movement. Okay. As you can see, we have movement there. No head bobbing, but we can work on that. There's your jump. Okay, just a basic formality, right, we're gonna go with the default FPS character and I'm gonna show you how to pick up this cube and we're just gonna throw this cube wherever we want to or drop it on a certain location where the, the level is, is telling you where to drop this, okay. So first of all, we're gonna go to the cube, I named this cube pickup box because this is gonna be the box I'm going to react with. Um, we need to go to the settings of the publishing uh, uh, editor. We need to go to windows.exe, go down. You can use my settings. I'm gonna go full screen, vertical synchronization and anti analyzing. Okay, you need to put it, it's gonna be on co a collision only, put it on physics simulator. Because we're gonna pick up stuff and throw stuff around. Okay, we need to kick it around and stuff, right? So, we need to put the behavior, and the first behavior is gonna be, let's find, um, I think it's gonna be move, move an object by physics, okay, physics engine. That is your first behavior when you click on the pickup box, okay, your cube. Right, now we're gonna go for the parameter, leave everything as such, I think I'm gonna use the box. It's a box type, okay, obviously because we're using a cube. Right, um, we need to put another behavior. When clicked on this, do something. We're gonna go to the action bar at the bottom. And we need to put in an action. So what do we want to do when we look at the cube? Okay, when we click on the cube. We're gonna go to behaviors. Okay. Add. Special. No, we're gonna go to scripting. Physics object command. Okay, and we leave this everything as such. You can put a force on a hundred. I'm gonna put it on two hundred. The force is how how you want the grip on the box. You know, it is a nice strength for me to pick up that box, depending on the gravity also. So that is why you need to strengthen it up. Okay, I'm gonna clone this box since we need a fake box, which I'm gonna call the location point where I put my I must place my cube. This is going to show where you must place the cube as soon as you pick the cube up. Okay, so let's go to um, let me just start over here. Okay, attributes. I'm gonna go to box one. Let's rename it. Um, we must rename this box. Okay, I'm gonna leave it as box. This is going to be, um, let's put it the drop, the drop box. Okay, this is going to be the drop box. There's a double P in there, I need to delete the one P. Sorry for that. Okay, it is the drop box. And the other one is going to be the fake drop box. Okay, fake drop box. My A is not working on my keyboard, but uh, you can name it whatever you want to, but I'm gonna name it fake box, okay? Let me just remove that one at the end. Right, so, my name is 3 Mr. Tutorials, and I'm showing you how to pick up stuff, drop it, throw it, and placing it where you are um, shown by uh, indicator. Okay, let me show you. I'm gonna create the box. I'm just gonna change out the color on this material. Okay, I'm gonna put it, uh, give it a red, a red texture. Okay, 
can put it on transparency if you want to like that. It's nice, but I'm gonna leave it red so, so it can be visible in this tutorial. Okay, this was a subscriber request, so I'm just trying to water it down, make it shorter, because it's actually a four-part series. But I hope you guys, when you follow along, you also uh, can create this um, awesome pickup intro system. Right? If you want, you can download the project. I'm gonna leave the uh, link in the description to this project so you don't have to go through all of this if you don't want to. But I recommend you do this because um, it's gonna help you with your gaming skills. Okay, so um, we are at physics object command again. We need to add another action and it's gonna be a hide C note. Okay, you need to hide the fake box. We're gonna make it visible, sorry. When clicked on the cube, the pickup cube, the keep up pickup box, we go into unhide the fake box. Okay. So that you can get your location where you need to the position where you need to drop this box off. Okay, so that your level can be completed. Alright? I'm gonna put in all that UI and all of that stuff. That's why you need to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna use the box collider on proximity because uh, the spear don't work so well. And I'm gonna change the, the size of it. Since the cube is uh, 10 by 10 by 10, I'm gonna go for 15 by 15 by 15, a bit bigger. Okay, so that when we, uh, when the pickup box enters this uh, trigger it will immediately go for the action okay uh, another action is going to be also hide and so this one is going to be let's select the scene we want to show the draw box it is where the position where you're going to see the box when you drop it you're going to see the box after the box is dropped, you won't be able to pick it up again. You get points and stuff. That's why we're going to use variables and all of that. But that is in a different tutorial. Okay, we're going to delete the scene. Not I'm gonna put it on one. The time first a millisecond. One is like nothing. It's quick. You can leave it on zero if you want to. Okay, there you have your two. We're gonna put another one. No, I think we need to delete also um, Dropbox Yes, throttle visible Hi, throttle What is going on here? Do we have two throttle visible Dropboxes? It's the pickup box, delete And that is the Dropbox We need to delete the fake Yes, we need to delete the fake box. Okay, this is for the fake box. Right, because after we enter that um, trigger, we want the, the pickup box and the fake box to disappear, to delete, and then the draw box must appear. And that is level done. Okay, so let's see how that works out. I'm unable to pick up, but as you can see, when, you, when I click the, 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 the cube, then the pickup box, and then you can see there, that is the location where you need to take this cube, where you take your item, your 3D model and place it. Okay, I'm gonna go quickly to um, the new 3D scene one. This is the world. This is the whole scene. Okay, we're gonna put the script here. And it's gonna be physics object control. And this is gonna be the spot. Is where, if you don't know what the spot is, it's actually where the cube is gonna appear when you pick it up. The location in front of you. Okay, where it's gonna have it. So let's create the cube. I'm gonna put it on the size one. I don't want to be, it doesn't have to be visible. I'm gonna give it a transparent uh, texture. Um, afterwards when I'm done with this tutorial okay but for now it's gonna be visible so that you can acknowledge that there's something there hovering in the air where, where your pickup cube is going to be located so let's just name it spot lowercase okay 
that's how it is in the Jason script, default Jason script. If you don't have the scripts, I'm gonna leave everything in the description, guys. Even if you download the project, everything is in there. You can just add whatever you want to can create the level out of it. Okay, let me just copy this uh, player position so that I can put this spot exactly where the player is. It needs to be exactly in front of the player, but not in front of the view, the, the viewport of the camera, because we need to click on stuff okay if this cube is in the way you won't be able to pick up stuff right now that is out of the way um, the next thing we need to do is subscribe to my channel please <laughs> right and if this video is helpful please so far like this video so that youtube can put it out there so that other also game beginners can also see this video that is a step by step tutorial on how to pick up and throw stuff and also place items you can download the project like i said in the description below let's go to physics spot and we're going to take that note and we're going to add it to our physics object controller in the new scene in the world scene okay the hierarchy we got, i'm gonna put the distance on 100 and we're gonna publish it and have a look how everything works out okay wait 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 let me just check something here uh, we need to join the spot also with the player right before we play now because it must move with the player you go as you can see let's pick up this cube you see the distance it's exactly where that is we're gonna drop it boom okay now this this that that part this part is working we're gonna work on the other part now now don't worry right at least now we pick up our cube the cube is um active in our world with the gravity and all of that awesome stuff uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we can't drop that cube so we need to put in another behavior and it's work. when clicked when a key is pressed do something and i'm gonna go with the right mouse button okay when the key is pressed down and i'm gonna put the action the action is gonna be um physics object command and just uh, we select just uh right the select okay and put the 50 on the zero because we don't need any force we're just gonna let go okay there you go so let's check that out if it's working properly we pick up the cube like so and when we press the right button right key right mouse key and then it drops as you can see they dropped it they picks it up it drops it it picks it up and it drops it right that part is now out of the way guys we can pick up the cube and we can drop the cube with the left mouse button okay so the next step is um what i also wanted to tell you guys is you can just when i'm done when you when i'm done with the cube or you're done with your project you can just copy and paste this cube and it will have all the awesome uh, uh, properties okay from the previous one right though so what we're gonna do now is we need to sort out how this behavior and action is gonna work when we drop this uh, pickup box on top of the fake box okay so something needs to hide delete and something needs to show so let's just sort out that part okay we're gonna select the pickup box when entering the fake box and we're gonna hide throttle that is right we leave that as such let's pick it up and check right there it shows now let's see when we drop it and there it hides all right there you go guys that's your tutorial if you wanted to see how you can place items on locations where you want the player to put it that is how you do it okay my name is 3d Mr. tutorials i'm just gonna move this spot a little bit to the front so that you guys can see properly how it works okay it's not a cube in my hand that i pick up it's a different cube laying there as you can see there you see you see you can even just have it on top of the red cube the fake cube it will magically disappear and the other cube will reappear okay okay it's dropping as you can see with the right mouse button it's a glitch not actually 
we're gonna fix that with the variables when we put in health and uh, bullets and all of that cause I'm not gonna work with variables in this tutorial this is all about showing you how you can pick up and place items in copper cube 6.5.1 my name is 3 ds Tutorials, like I said, if it's your first time here, smack that like button if you like this video, subscribe to my channel for more awesome tutorials like this one.